Hello and welcome to this video which is designed to teach you about variables in SNAP. So what's a variable? Well, you probably already know the answer to that question or at least you've learned the answer to that question at one point in your studies because you studied variables in math class. A variable is something that can, const that can store a value. Now, in math class, your variables were pretty much all numbers. In SNAP, a variable could store a word, or it could store a number, or it could store any number of things. We're going to start off with numbers because they are the things that most people are familiar with. Now, to work with a variable, you first have to create it. You can't do anything with variables before they're made. And there are a couple of different variable types, but we're going to start off, the easiest way of doing this is going into the variables palette and clicking on the button saying make a variable. And it comes up with a dialog box and we're going to create something I'm just going to call it count and it says for all sprites which means all sprites could share this variable or for this sprite only it doesn't really matter in this case so I'm just going to say for all sprites and I click on OK at that point I get a variable listed below the make a variable button in fact, another variable, another button pops up called delete a variable because now that I've created one, I have the opportunity to delete it. I have the name of the variable here, and if I created other variables, so I'm going to go ahead and create another one called uh, number of bricks. I don't know why, just sounds like a fun variable name. So now I have two variables here. And you notice that both of them have appeared on the stage, and that's because of the check marks. If I uncheck them, they disappear. And so I have a choice as to whether or not I want to see the person using the program uh, be able to visualize the variables on the stage. For right now, I'm just going to leave them there. You can do a couple of things with variables. You can set their values. So for instance, I'm going to set count to 8. And when I run the script, just by clicking on it, so this won't be anything too sophisticated, it changes to 8. I can change the value of a variable. So if I could take count and I change it by, say, 2, then I click on this, now it's 10, now it's 12, now it's 14. So every time I change by 2, it increases by 2. I can make this negative, and so 14, 12, 10, and so forth. I can show the variable so I could do this rather than clicking on these check marks I could use show variable there it is or I could choose hide variable so I'll put in, uh, I'll go ahead and hide it and so I have the ability to hide them programmatically now the next thing I want to do with this variable is make a little script so the script is going to go I think we're going to we're going to take that rhyme 2468 who do we appreciate that sounds like a good exercise so I need to count 2468 and then say who do we appreciate now I'm going to start off then I need to start off at 2 so my script is going to start off set the count to 2 and I'm going to increase this by 2 each time and then after I've set the variable I want to say it so I will go into looks and choose say and then I'm going to say count now I need to access the variable and here's a funny thing uh, the in order to access the variable I can take it from here and drag it into here and so I'm gonna go ahead and run this and notice it just pops up with the number 2 because my sprite just said 2 and the variable is in orange and that's an important point sometimes it's easy to get this confused if I just said if I just type C-O-U-N-T then this is a word and it's gonna say that word so let's run this here again notice it says the word count Well, that's not what I wanted I don't want the word count I want the value of the variable so when I put the variable in here the value of that variable 2 is what appears up here so I want to say 2 4 6 8 so I want to take these two statements that that say it and change it and I want to do that 2 4 6 8 that would be four times so to do it four times I will use a repeat block Put these in here 
And now let's run our script. In fact, let's put a hat block on it just for fun. Let's see how it goes. Two, four, six, eight. That's a little uh, slow for my taste. So I'm going to go ahead and change this to half a second. Two, four, six, eight. That's a little bit peppier. Then we need, um, who do we appreciate? Who do we appreciate? And usually, um, when you're doing this sort of cheer, they'll say so-and-so, so-and-so, rah, rah, rah. Of course, they won't really say so-and-so. They'll say the person's name. It would be nice if we knew the person's name. So I'm going to use another variable. Uh, this variable we haven't seen before, but it's built into Snap, and it is called the answer variable. You get the answer variable by first asking a question. So I'm going to go into sensing, and I'm going to use a block that says, what's your name? Now this block works as follows. When you run it, whatever is in here is displayed. You can change this to be whatever you want. You can ask what's your name, what's your age, and so forth. It will display it, and then the result is going to be stored in a variable called answer. Now to prove this, to show that I'm not just making this up, I'm going to turn on the answer variable so it appears here on the stage. And here I go. What's your name and wait? So it says what's your name and it's waiting for me to type something in this section. So I'm going to say Michael and notice that answer now says Michael. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to say what's your name? All right. And then the answer variable now contains the uh, whatever the person put in for their name. Who do we appreciate? So I'm going to say twice. And I'm going to do this a couple of different ways of doing this. But I'm going to do it. So I'm going to say, say hello. Um, and I'm going to say, I'm going to say hello again. But of course, I don't really want to say hello. I want to take the answer. So I'm going to take say answer, answer, and then I want to say rah, 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 because I think that's how it should end. Rah, rah, rah. Here we go. So are you ready? All right. Uh, I guess I better click on my green flag here. What's your name? Michael. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Michael. Michael, rah, rah, rah. All right, that was a little too fast, a little too slow for me, I'd say. So I'm going to change this to one second. I'm going to change this to one second, and this to one second. And I think we may have a winner here. Let's find out. What's your name? Michael. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Michael. There's only one problem with this. You noticed I didn't see Michael, Michael. I just saw Michael. And that's because this say and this say are happening right after another. It's a bit of a glitch. And there are, pro there are a couple of different ways of solving that problem. Um, I'm going to use the join reporter. Oh dear, this is going to get very complicated, folks. My apologies, but I am a perfectionist. So I'm going to get rid of this one. And instead of saying answer, I'm going to use what join does is it takes two values and joins them together. So I'm going to say join answer to answer. So it's going to say Michael, Michael, rah, rah, rah. So let's see if that works any better. Now some of you may be looking at this and thinking, uh, Michael, I think there's still going to be a problem. We'll find out. What's your name? Michael. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Michael, Michael. And you saw the problem. There's a space because this second variable is joined right to the next. Well, there's a solution to this too. I can join more than two things. If I look at the join, by default it gives me two inputs. I can click on this and I get a third. So let me click on this and I get a third. Now, I want to put a comma and a space in between. So I'm going to put the answer here. And this I'm going to say comma space. And one of the nice things about the input fields, I don't know if you can see this. I'm going to try, uh, I, I 
I should zoom in, but I'm afraid that this will break screen flow, so let me not do that. But you notice there's a small brown dot that represents a space. So I think now we're good to go. What's your name? Michael. I'm thinking of changing it just to make this more interesting. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Michael, Michael, rah, rah, rah. There we go, I've cheered myself up. Hopefully I have cheered you up as well because you've learned a little bit about videos, or a little bit about videos, a little bit about variables. And in the next video, we will be talking even more about variables. So stay tuned and again, uh, keep sending feedback if you're, if you're participating in the SNAP workshop. Um, please uh, let myself or Logan or Charity know um, if you have any issues. Thanks.